Howdy and welcome for the first time to the Teton Leather Shop. This is Francesca Ricci. Uh, she and her husband, Zach, run Teton Leather. They do all sorts of awesome stuff. And what are we getting into today? So, we are building, I'm gonna grab this, a crossbody uh, underarm grabbing sheath. Uh, and it's gonna have a strap that goes around the guy's body, a little anchor to the belt. And it's gonna be pretty cozy. It's gonna sit like this. So it'll be out of the way. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna start cutting in some leather. I'm very excited. This is a sheet that I built with Rick Hall in a recent video. With a knife this size, the carry options are somewhat limited. Yes. So if we were to do the typical like handle up, usually, yeah, he, there you go. It just is super in the way. It touches everything. So having it handled down, we're gonna try to design it in a way that it doesn't like bump against stuff. It's not gonna be rubbing his arm. Um, and it's actually comfortable and usable because mm -hmm. a lot and of times big knives like this It's not usable when you you know So Francesca is doing a video about making the pattern for the sheath and why she's making it that way And then we're gonna dig into the actual building of it here. So let's get started. Yes, let's cut some leather Now here's the deal many of you guys have seen my videos before you know that I've worked with Squarespace for quite a long time now But my relationship with Squarespace actually started about five years ago when I built out my website on their platform. Squarespace is an online website building platform that makes it really, really easy to build out a website. I've gotten a little bit better at technology since I was 18 years old, but I was really bad at it back then. I'm still really bad at it right now, but I was still able to use their beautiful pre-laid out website designs to add an awesome about me page, a gallery of my work, a place to purchase my work. It's really, really wonderful. It's very easy to update. It's really easy to add products to. You can also add things like members only areas for a more intimate relationship with your constituents and tons of other awesome plugins and ways to put out information to the internet. So I think Squarespace is an excellent way to build a website for anything that you're passionate about, whether that be your business or your hobby or whatever it is. So if you're interested in checking out Squarespace, go to squarespace.com forward slash Will Stelter for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's episode. With that, let's get something to make uh, this safer. We are going to grab some American steer hide. This stuff is about a 12 ounce and it's a pretty dry tannage, but it still has a pull up on the surface. What's a pull up and a tannage? <laughs> So tannage is the way that the cowhide is tanned, it's processed. So this is a vegetable tan and pull-up leather is when it looks like this, right? It's kind of plain. You do one of these and you pull up the color and that's the oils leaving the surface because of that, that pressure, it disperses it. So if we were to take a match or a torch or something and heat this up, it would turn dark again. And it's getting a little darker. And then over here, we're gonna line it in some kangaroo. I think we'll go with. Here, that stuff is hopping. Oh, but um, so this is ochre kangaroo, also a vegetable tan, which is primo, and it's a fun shape. Looks mm. like a kangaroo. So this is gonna be our liner. Protects the blade. Let's be honest, on a Brute to Forge blade, you don't really need a liner like this to protect it because it's already like rough and like, Arr. so we'll take our pattern here that's been drawn out. We've got the shape of the blade. We also have our welting. So your welting is this little outline here along the outside. It's about a half inch as a rule, but this one I went a little bit bigger because it's such a big blade. That welting protects and makes sure that you're never gonna cut through. What we're gonna do is trace it out and cut it. We'll have this as the exterior and then we're gonna overlay with exotic. So we are going to block cut. What that means is cutting off a big block. And then I have a lot more rotatable leather chunk to move around and cut out the intricate little corners because this has to be super precise. So we're gonna start by cutting it out and I like to go for my long straights first. So now that we have our two pieces cut out, this is the main body, we need to think about our placement because if I just stitch these together, it's not gonna work. We have to place out where we're gonna have our rings. So the ring, when it sits on there, is going to have, as you have seen in the pattern video, this piece right here. And this piece is going to hold it in place while still allowing four points of contact for a swivel snap. We have to stitch this on before we put our liner. The liner will protect our sewing on this little anchor here and all four of these anchors out here. So first, let's cut out this piece. What we're gonna do is take this little French edger. It's amazing. 
somebody made it for me. His name is Justin Wilson. We're gonna take these to the grinder and clean them up a little bit so they look really good. Okay, so pieces that we need to put on here before we line it because once it's lined, all the stitching is protected. So that's like second to third to last step. First, we're gonna put on these braces here, little anchors for the O-ring. And then after that, we're gonna put on our retention strap and we're gonna do an easily replaceable retention strap. So a lot of times guys will put on a permanent retention strap. What happens though is they'll pop their retention strap, pull the blade out, and you have your strap hanging here and they slice their retention strap. Well, if you put a permanent one, you can't replace it. So what we're gonna do is put one that they could just clip it off and slide a new one into place. Okay, so what we're looking for right now is a button stud. The button stud slides in the retention strap, pops it on, pops it off, keeps it safe. So these little goodies in here, oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. There's your little button stud, there's your little post, and together, they're beautiful. We're gonna put a retention strap right there. Not too long, not too short. The reason we are putting the hole right here is because you have this little gap, right? So if I were to put it straight up here, it leaves a little wiggle room, but if you bring it down just a touch, the pressure will be on this curve. When this blade tries to come up against that curve, you see how there's a lip right here that is forged in by Mr. Will Stelter? We will be able to sink it against that. So that this blade, no matter what, it's not pulling against the retention strap. It's gonna be fixed in place. I was about to pop on the button stud. However, we're gonna put some beaver tail on it first because pretty things make people happy. This portion beaver tail, this portion, who knows? Maybe just steer hide. We've got our beaver tail. We've got our little concoction here of dye. Spray a little water to thin it down. With the beaver tail, I like to go against the grain so it gets in all these little cracks and you can see the texture just like comes to life. Give it the old swipey swipe. The beaver tail, very beautiful. You can see all the texture in there. Which side so, of the beaver tail is this from? You can use both sides. Is it the same? Yeah, we magically have two beaver tails. How did that happen? What we've got here, tails are cured, done, finished, ready to be put on the sheath. I like to freehand my shapes. I feel like they come out a lot more smooth and natural looking, but I'm gonna build a pattern just for you guys. For this portion, we cut out our little shape that we're gonna put the swoop on the sheath body, but I don't just wanna cut it to shape because sometimes when you're tracing, you might trace a little big, a little small, so. We're gonna cut this pattern a little bit big. That way we know we have plenty of beaver tail to use. We're not gonna like cut it too small, you know, measure twice, cut once. When it comes to beaver tail, it's such an oily hide that it doesn't really like to stick. This is another oily hide. So you can't just put two oily hides together and expect them to stick. It doesn't work. So we have a trick for that. We're gonna round out this point just a little bit. Right now it's very, very pointy. We're gonna take it, round it out a bit. When we sand off this top, this, this nice smooth part, it's gonna open up the grain. It'll accept the glue a lot better. And then these will stick together just right. So we see now I cut it oversized so that little line that I had marked, we're just gonna cover it right up anyways. Boop, right there. I can feel up here, we're right on the edge of the sheath with this beaver tail. So I'm gonna move it up about a 16th inch, set it by hand, mark it down here, and then we'll start gluing up. If we wanna be extra fancy, what we could do is recess this upper portion where the beaver tail sits because if we just overlay it, what you're gonna have is a ledge. And a ledge is okay, perfectly fine. But what's better is no ledge. What I'm gonna do is carve this line and try to keep it as exact as possible so that the beaver tail sits flush or heirloomed instead of just overlaid. All right, so what we're gonna do here, we have this line beautifully carved out so that now this has an heirloom fit. It's gonna sit almost flush, just, just over. And I'm going to glue up this portion of beaver tail, this sanded piece of steer hide. I'm gonna let both pieces of glue completely dry because this is a contact cement, so you want it to be totally cured. It's gonna go on white, and then it's gonna dry totally clear and that's when you know it's ready to stick. We have to get this little O-ring on here while we wait for the glue to dry. We have to secure these in just the right spot. So I put these kind of in a rough placement because I wanted them to be somewhere that's gonna be pretty comfortable sitting on his back. We have little tiny prick marks 
that we made in the design video. I'm gonna use those very same prick marks here to mark the body of the leather. Now I have pretty much an interior outline of where that ring is gonna sit. I drew up this design. It's hideous. Also, I just I don't like it. It's terrible. So we're gonna just scrap that and use this because this is a much more uniform thing. So new design, this right here, we're gonna throw some beaver tail on the suede side. That way, what you see on the back is a little piece of beaver tail. Next, we are going to strap out the crossbody strap that's gonna connect this whole thing together, plus a little piece to connect it to his belt. So let's do that. We've got this set to inch and a half. We are going to strap this out. Cut ourselves a little notch so it's easier to go through. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna do it. Yes, full length string. So now that both pieces are completely dry, we know that the glue is gonna stick because it's clear all the way through and shiny. So we have this piece cut out here and ready to pair up. What we don't wanna do is get it stuck and then we can't move it or the glue peels. We're gonna hover here and see where our shape looks best. Quite happy with that right there. So now it's time to trim this piece out and then we can get our button stud set. Got our little hole right there. I'm gonna recess the backside just a bit more so that that little post has some extra wiggle room. Earlier I had mentioned the retention strap. So this is where we're gonna put it in and it's a super simple system. It's actually just two slots and you have a strap that feeds through them. This is my little slot tool. It's pretty perfect, it's amazing. And we've got those two perfect little holes right there. We're gonna fit our circle kind of around them. It's gonna sit on top of it just a little bit which will actually help hold that retention strap in. Um, but if it does get sliced, you can pull it through, put in a new one. So now your strap's gonna come here and anchor in right here. Cool. Yeah, it's not moving. It's very, very, do you wanna try it? It's actually pretty satisfying. Dang. Yeah, it's on there. It's good. So now it's time for us to put on our liner. We have both of these lined out, ready to be lined. We're gonna line this one first, then we're gonna see where our placement is gonna go. Final placement for these beaver tail anchors. Put our rings on and then this will get lined out as well. I put the glue on there nice and thick so that that way when I get it all pressed together, I can really like clamp it down and the glue will stick. Make sure that it's all smoothed out. We don't want any bumps, nothing laying underneath the kangaroo. So we don't get any indentations or inconsistencies in the liner. A little bit of warp in there from this. Uh, We're gonna make sure we want it to lay nice and flat because this has been pre ground. So I'm gonna take it to the edge of my table and overhang just a little bit so I can get a good flat pressure all along the welting. of 
water dye to get in all the nooks and crannies that got cut or ground. Gummy that beaver tail is. Okay, how sick is that? Perfect. We gotta punch that little hole and we're gonna be good to go. That's so sick. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty stoked about that. Do yeah. you hear that pop? That looks amazing. Yeah. That will loosen up just a little bit. Mm hmm. Perfect. Well, the sheath is done. Francesca, would you tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely. So, we have it all finished out and ready to go. As you've seen, this thing is made from American steer hide, super thick, high dense, high quality pull up leather, and we lined it in kangaroo inside to protect the blade. Even though a big brute blade like this doesn't necessarily need it, it's pretty sweet looking and it's an extra feature. So this top part, we have hand dyed American beaver tail. We did a faded in heirloom fit right here, so it's all flush, hand saddle stitch throughout, because that's the strongest stitching you can get. And then on the back side, we have a multi point harness system. So these straps can be taken off and moved to any of these points on these O-rings. They're solid cast, so they're super strong and durable. We also have a little belt anchor. So this can connect to one of these rings back here, and then he can hook it onto his belt loop, and that will keep it anchored so that when he goes to draw, it doesn't move at all if he doesn't want it to. It's got the replaceable strap, which means that if that strap ever does get cut, it can be replaced. It has pretty dang nice retention right now where it's not too tight, not too loose, so that even if the strap isn't on there, it's probably not gonna fall out, which is very nice, but it's not so tough that you can't draw it when you're wearing it. So cool. Yes. This is a very, very nice, but still very functional setup. So it's a nice, but functional knife and a very, very, very nice, but still very functional sheath as well. Uh, would you say this is pretty indicative of your normal work? Yeah, I think it is. This is pretty much what I build out. Most guys are looking for something super usable, mm -hmm. but also they want it to look good. Mm -hmm. So this is a good summary. I'd say that fits the bill. Yes, it does. Awesome. Awesome work, Francesca. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yep. Nice Pleasure. bracelets, by the way. Thank you. I have nice bracelets. <laughs> So huge thank you to Francesca and her husband Zach for their hospitality and having us down to build this sheath. Uh, this thing came out great. I'm excited to see what the customer thinks of it. Thank you guys for following along. Make sure to check out the Teton Leather channel and on Instagram as well. Thank you to our patrons. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. I'll see you guys on the next one.